If I'm still trying to follow the clues faithfully and trust that the Lord gave them for a reason, then I think as I look back on what was shared, there are some specifics standing out. First being the why two moon dreams dream. It's not like I thought they were going to collide or something, and I never necessarily thought we would see two moons in the sky. That dream showed me it was about a passage of time, and now we're watching time pass. Second thing sticking is both Jess and John saying, when the two moons converge, we were already all gone. Maybe it's like that verse, Isaiah 66, 23, from new moon to new moon. The next new moon is the 20th, which is marked for an incredibly rare hybrid solar eclipse, along with a significant meteor shower in the constellation of, get this, Lyra, the upside-down falling vulture himself. This is so exciting to follow, Lord. Thank you for leading. Maybe it was one circumvolution after the 3, 2, 3, and 4 we were given. Venus has moved on. This weekend we have the moon at Virgo's feet with that fun fig tree tribulation comet, as well as Apophis passing through the stream of the water bearer. And Monday has Venus and the bright morning star meeting up with Pleiades, or the seven churches. Amen. Tuesday is that very special conjunction of Jupiter with the sun, right on those bonds of sin and death. At that very same time, we find the moon, our baby from the second Revelation 12 sign, exactly where Ophiuchus puts his foot down, standing in the gap for us, right where all our butterflies are, and our pink cloud again, and our Milky Way wall. Wow. You'd have to watch my star video playlist if you don't know what I'm referring to. It's like the moon and the sun and the morning star are marking something very, very important here. Wow. Then we've got that Lyra meteor shower starting the weekend after. Then three twos and two threes. Those two sets of triplets are right back in the belly of the whale. The sun and the moon witnessing Jupiter alone then the moon and invisible Uranus with our dark Mercury. So the moon comes full circle, right back to that Uranian moon we saw with the figure of the pregnant lady on it by the 21st. Then more interesting than that, if we look back to the dance of Venus and Mercury again, light and dark, I noticed something I missed. The Lord showed me those three twelves, then the fall. Well, now I finally see Mercury goes backward into retrograde right at this second new moon. He's making his way towards Jupiter now, which still fits the storylines I've been seeing. Wow. Praise the Lord. But there's more. I ran past a new channel mentioning the belly of our whale. I wanted to give my forehead a high five on this one. Okay, so the Lord mentions everything being twofold through her two sides of the same coin, which we have definitely been seeing in these star stories. She talks about the separation of those sides, like my dream above the great fish, like Star Child's space tunnel. She was told the only sign that will be given will be the sign of Jonah. Guys, Jonah was the one in the belly of the whale. My first star dream was the great counting, 144,000 in the belly of the whale. Then the planets aligned there at Cetus and came back nine months later. It's a twofold story, some safe in heaven, some sealed on earth. I've been trying to share these things, but it has not been heeded, like this sister warned. While this has been happening in the heavens, the Lord has been using his people to share a life-saving message, like Jonah the prophet, on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. We have been sharing our dreams, our visions, our speculations, real end-time prophecies to a lost and perverse generation like the Ninevites. The people of that depraved city Jonah preached to repented and God relented. Will this generation put down their idols or mix them in? Will these wicked people put away their wicked things or continue to partake? Will some who think they have a light continue to blow it out and hide it because they are ashamed? Because they are man-pleasers? Because they do not fear God? 
Please, I beg of you, step out of the darkness now and into his glorious light. If it's going to take you seeing something from him to believe, then I believe you're going to see him take his people home.